Good morning, Magic. I'm Gavin Verhey from Wizards of the Coast, and in Commander Legends, there are a ton of awesome throwbacks and really cool hidden references. But when it comes to Easter eggs, there is one that is definitely my favorite. And today I wanna to show you the card and exactly what to look for. Let's do it. In Commander Legends, there is an innocuous little uncommon called Ingenuity Engine. And artist Young Hao Han truly went above and beyond to knock this one out of the park. Here's the art description that we sent him. The art description for Ingenuity Engine, called Inventor's Shrine at the time, asks Young Hao to please design a shrine to bygone inventions that's formed of spare mechanical parts and salvage from previous constructs. Now at the end of the art description, it says, perhaps as an Easter egg, we see a Videlcan Ori incorporated into the shrine's design. Because you know, that'd be cool if a single, very popular artifact from Magic's past was incorporated into the new design. And then at the very end, we tell Young Hao, hey, if you have ideas for other artifacts to go here, go ahead. Let's see what you come up with. Well, when I say Young Hao truly went above and beyond, I mean it, because here is the final piece of art. There are 13 famous magic artifacts that I found hidden in the art of this card. And if you wanna play along, feel free to pause the video right here and see how many of them you can find. Ready? Let's go. Right near the middle here, we'll start with a Sensei's Divining Top which is sitting inside of a commander sphere. Now to the right of that is a sword of feast and famine and a sword of body and mind. Now, if we start looking up at the card, we'll see a rings of bright hearth and of course, commander staple, soul ring. Up a little higher in the art piece is an illusionary mask. Now that is a wild throwback. We've got a dark steel ingot hiding out here. We have a skull clamp attached to what looks like a Videlkin Ori. Probably not drawing any cards for that one. We have some of the shreds to door to nothingness up here. Be very careful with that one. A behemoth sledge hanging out here, a nice colored artifact in with all the others. And then at the very bottom of the piece of art, we have a mana vault. And of course, that's not even saying that there might be some sculpting steels or masterwork ingenuities, or maybe even a Phyrexian metamorph hiding amongst these. But I'm gonna discount the clones for now. Did you see any that I missed? If so, let me know in the comments down below. Well, it has been quite a year for Good Morning Magic. For a channel that didn't even exist when the year began to where we are now, I am so impressed and absolutely amazed at all of your support. So thank you all so much. I have over 15,000 subscribers now, and this week my channel got its one millionth view. Absolutely wild, and I would have never ever fathomed this when the channel first began. For the rest of the year, I'm going to take the year off from officially scheduled episodes just to relax and recharge and get ready for the year ahead. But all that said, don't think you can get rid of me quite that easily. I've got a couple fun ideas that I'd like to do if I can, so no guarantees, but I would keep checking out the channel even next week, just in case. I'll talk with you all again though next year, so happy holidays and have a happy new year in the meantime. And until then, may you have a lot of fun finding Easter eggs in places you might have never known they existed. You got this. What precautions is Wizards taking to prepare for the inevitable Salamander Uprising? Step one, was inform the people. And now hopefully Gore Muldrak has taught you all a very important lesson about salamanders. Step two, lots of nets, nets everywhere. Instead of doing black green elves, were there any other tribes you thought of using for green?